Jeff Hallett is my co-director. He had known the band for 20 years as wow. a reggae band called Lamb's Bread, yeah. um, which is their current band. Um, they never really told anybody that they were in a band called Death. They didn't even tell their kids. Their kids didn't realize this. And so the kids grew up playing punk rock music, mm -hmm. unbeknownst to them that their fathers were in this punk rock band in the 70s. Um, they just thought their dads were in a reggae band. So Jeff like knew them as reggae. And one day, Bobby Jr., the son of the mm -hmm. guy from the band, came up to Jeff and he said, hey, we're going to be covering my dad's music over at this club. You should come check us out. And Jeff was kind of taken aback because he thought, you guys are going to be covering reggae and, mm -hmm. and, and not punk? I, I, like, they don't do punk, they do reggae. Why, why would you guys want to cover reggae? So Jeff figured, what the hell? He went to go see it, and he was blown away when he saw that it was punk rock music and knew immediately that he had to tell the story. Uh, all the footage you see in the movie was shot by me. Okay. Um, the one interview I did with Bobby Jr. isn't even in the movie. Um, there's no archival footage, with the exception of the lamb's bread footage that you saw. That mm -hmm. we had to get from a public access station. Um, and there's no... Uh, archival footage of death at all. There was only photos. So I did go out and I recreated the sons. There are three, three kids of Bobby Jr., mm -hmm. or Bobby Sr., I'm sorry, from death, who created this tribute band to death called Rough Francis, which is ironic because death were three brothers themselves. Mm -hmm. um, so I took those sons and I put afros on them and mutton chops and I had them play their fathers <laughs> playing music and I shot that on Super 8. And that's what really? you see in the movie. That's just reenactment re footage. It's, it seems like you, you relate to the music, uh, yeah. if, if not the music, at, at least just the, uh, the style of the band and, and kind of their attitude. Uh, what, totally. Where, what do you relate to um, so strongly? For me, it was, it was the music and it was David's philosophy on life yeah. that uh, you got to A, back up your brother and B, stand your ground. Don't give up what you believe in. Mm -hmm. um, he, he really believed in that band, and he, he tried to, he would still, if he was still alive, he passed away in 2000, but if he was still alive, I believe he would still be talking about that band and, and how um, people are going to come looking for it. One of the, I just, you know, he, he was that kind of. It sticks with you. That death is real, that really kind of was a driving factor for David yeah. um, his whole life. I mean, would, would, would their music have been the same with, without that, do you think? I don't know. I, Without that experience, uh, yeah. you know, with their father, that early death of their father. And I don't think it would have. I think that really affected David, um, having their father pass away when they were all younger. Um, you know, having their father also be a big influence on their music mm -hmm. and, and showing them the Beatles and, and their mom taking them out to go see Alice Cooper. Yeah. I mean, not too many black families were doing that. Yeah. Um, I, I think it did have a big impact on David, and, and it meant more than, you know, shock value which it did mean also like he he knew that you know by naming them death people would notice them absolutely but it but it also it just tied into this whole philosophy he had in death and rebirth and, and mm -hmm. how you don't die when you no. when you die <laughs> it's not the end when you die their story and their music is able to cross you know generational lines yeah. and also you know time and space yeah. um in general i mean is that a testament to just their their attitude that they, they took and, and that fortitude, I suppose, that they stuck with? I think it's a testament to David Hackney. Yeah. I, think, I think David knew it was going to be this way. I don't think the other two brothers fully believed in that enough, and that's why they just put the, four, they put the master tapes in the attic mm -hmm. and just forgot about it. Right. Uh, but David always knew that this was going to happen, which is, it, it sends chills down your spine, especially for somebody like me who doesn't believe in God or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. I mean, it... it the entire time we're making this film, I felt like David Hackney was watching me and trying to, you know, sure. make sure I was doing everything right. That mm -hmm. I was telling the story the way it should be told. It's like, all right, man, <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. They allude to that at the end. You know, it, it's like they're yeah. really they're living in a movie. Yeah. And and David's the director. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it felt like he was <laughs> helping me out a lot. Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's 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 great that. Uh, that it can reach that. I mean, my dad's 82 years old. He hates rock and roll. Yeah. Hates anything with guitar. He did not want to see my movie, especially when I told him it was called a band called <laughs> Death. However, I sat his ass down <laughs> at the at the Vermont premiere, and uh, he was crying afterwards. Mm -hmm. He hugged me and he said he was so proud. And so I, it's one of those films that you don't even need to be a fan of the music, really, because you, like you said, it is about family first and foremost. I know you never got to meet David yourself, but. Um, it definitely seems like 
Man. Uh, it definitely seems like you guys were I feel like came together for a reason. So. I feel like he's like my best friend. I feel like <laughs> I, I've known him for years at this point. And uh, you know, my one of my favorite parts in the documentary is after he dies, there's this montage and I man, I fucking sob every time that scene happens. <laughs> it just gets me because I feel like I'm 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 watching a relative, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean I have become part of the family. I do one thing that I I do that I wish I didn't do is I get emotionally involved with my subjects and, and the Hackneys became family to me, you know. Tammy, Bobby Senior's wife, calls me her son, you know. And it's good, you know, yeah. to, to have that support, but Absolutely. man, it takes a lot out of you emotionally. It does, it does. But you know, somebody somebody has to do it, right? Somebody's gotta do it. Somebody's yeah. gotta do it. <laughs> Thanks guys. Thanks. <laughs>